P.S. Veters, tis I, Mike Martins, your handheld junkie. And today we're going to take a look at my top six most addictive PS Vita games. Let's take a look. Okay guys, here we go. Top 6 most addictive PS Vita games in my opinion. Games I've played and I can tell you are very addictive. Here we go. Number 6. Dead or Alive 5 Plus? Yeah. Oh yeah. Dead or Alive 5 Plus. Why? Look at this sample to the right. This game's phenomenal. Unlocking, understanding, uh, different patterns and moves and combinations. This, hard, this game is very hard to put down once you pick it up. I think in my opinion, it's a very well... Heavily addictive game if you haven't played that or Alive 5. The, the system, the motion of the movements of the characters makes it unlike anything else. And I like the fact that uh, you have to learn all the different moves and abilities of everybody, which makes the game uh, basically endless when it comes to unlocking skins and different characters and abilities. I really, really recommend Dead or Alive 5 if you're looking for something that you could spend hours playing. Something very simple, something you could just jump into and have a good time with. Number five, I got to put a sports one in here so no one freak out. Oh, yeah, if you've played this, you know how addictive this game is. Hot Shots Golf World International, you'll know how you'll know how addictive this game is once you put your fingers on this. It's a lot of fun to play, endless hours. You always want to get a better score, and it's golf. So you're always trying to get your just better, you want to get a better lower score. The lowest the score, the better. And uh, the first the first game I played, I think I was 20 over. And then I got better, and I got to negative 6, negative 9. So, really good game. Very addictive to master all the different uh, all the different uh, greens and stuff. So, I had, to throw, I had to throw a sports one in there. No one panic. Sorry. Number 4, Mortal Kombat. Again, just like Dead or Alive 5. Learning combinations, learning the finishing moves, learning all kinds of cool things. This one has uh, movie themes in it. You can't go wrong. It's got touchscreen ability. Like I said, you want to learn the differences in the characters and stuff, and it's a game like, like I said, easy to jump into, addictive, hard to get, it, hard to keep your fingers off. That's it, Mortal Kombat. There's a sample there to your right, and you can see why the game is just the replayability is just enormous. And number three, Rayman Origins. It's so good, and I'll explain to you why it's so addictive. It's because when you're collecting and you're doing things in the game and you're getting your achievements, what I like about this game is it actually records how you did in every level and it's always there permanently. So you can go back in and try and beat your previous scores or try and unlock more things or try to find more things or try to perfect your score to upgrade your levels and unlock different territories. I love this. Um, it's, I think it's like 63 levels, I think, total from what I remember. But it's phenomenal. The game is phenomenal because it lets you go back and retrace and try and do better. Just like playing the old Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo, you always wanted to get the highest score. You always wanted to see how far you could live off one life. Well, Rayman Origins is one of those games too in my book. Number two. You knew this was going to be here. Little Big Planet for the PS Vita. This is definitely a game that you could... You could play over and over and just get lost in and very hard to put down. Um, welcome to the Carnaval. So it's a, 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 a Carnavilla game. And here's a sample to the right. You can see why Little Big Planet has been very successful, successful at creating addiction and why it's, it's a really good two player game on the, on the PS3. I did have a lot of fun with it on the Vita. You could go online and play with other people. Uh, multiplayers for two to four. It does play very well alone, but but I had a lot of fun playing on the multiplayer too. I did touch touch on it a few times. There's actually quite a few people on the system playing, which is very interesting. But I did have time. I had a really addictively good time with this, finding and unlocking and discovering, and a really hard, really tough game to put down in my opinion. And number one. One Way Heroics. I did a video review on this one. It's in my PS Vita reviews. It's phenomenal. The game is just a one-sided type scroll, a horizontal scrolling type game where every move you make 
the fire gets closer to you from behind. And as you move forward in the game, you want to um, unlock, destroy um, things that get in your way and, and, and level up your level, your guy, till you reach the 400, I think it's the 400 kilometer mark. I very recommend it. I strongly recommend it. I don't even know how to say this to you guys. I really want you guys, someone out there, to give this a try and comment below. The game didn't get really a lot of uh, pickup when it came out. But the people that do do play it, or did play it, and still do play it, are having a really good time castle building and doing all kinds of stuff that you're allowed to do in the game. Here's a sample to the right. I did make a video review on this because I did, I did play this for quite a while. And I still do pick it up from time to time and complete different levels. There's always stuff online that they give you for free or new dungeons to unlock or new different specifications to unlock. And the game is phenomenal. I wanted to put this at number one because it's a really tough game to put down in my opinion. Because you're always starting from scratch every time you play. It's not a continuous game. So you're always starting at the beginning and trying to do better through different levels with the limited abilities you start with. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are your top six PS Vita addictive games what's the most addictive games you guys have thanks for watching and let me know in the comments below goodbye